Dynasty buy or sell <laughs> offseason edition. Okay. Today we have Stephon Diggs, wide receiver Stephon. of the Buffalo Bills. Finished wide receiver seven this past year. Over 100 targets. Uh, 164 targets, excuse me, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Once again, wide receiver seven with arguably the QB1 in Dynasty and Josh yeah. Allen. Zach, are you buying or selling Stephon Diggs? Yeah, so I was actually prepared, you know, before. I like to think of my biases before I research a topic. And then right. typically mm-hmm. I find supporting arguments. But this time I was swayed the other way because I was fully prepared to sell Diggs. Mm -hmm. But I actually want to argue that I think he's one of the best buy lows for a win now team right now. And let me explain by firstly summing up how I feel like the dynasty community felt about Diggs this past year. Because I feel like if you own Diggs, I agree. Then then even if you were an outsider watching in, you feel this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 2020, Diggs finished first in targets amongst all wide receivers, averaging 10.3 targets per game. Yeah, it was crazy. He had a wide receiver three finish. And in startups in 2020, people were drafting him second round, like beginning of second round. Yeah. And there was such a high expectation. So and then he comes into this year, 2021, really slow. What Weeks one to five, he was the wide receiver 25 in Mm -hmm. PPR. That is not the player that anyone in Dynasty drafted. It was very underwhelming. And people expected the same digs that they got in 2020 and 2021. And they felt let down because, yeah, digs was good. But I didn't draft a good wide receiver. I I drafted an elite wide receiver, right? Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I know this is completely off topic, but I wonder if we're having this conversation about Cooper Cup next year. I I just want to throw that out there, okay? okay? And there is this meh. There's this mm, meh feeling about Stefan Diggs in the community right now yeah. based on let down owners. And mm-hmm. I think that that has led to a great buy low opportunity. And let me tell you why. Number one, I think Diggs was still really good in 2021. Yes, he started the year weeks one to five, wide receiver 25. Right. But after their bye week, weeks eight to 18, he was the wide receiver five, okay? Okay. So targets did go down this year from 2020 to 2021. In 2020, he was getting 10.3 targets per game. In 2021, that dropped down about 0.7 targets per game to 9.6. However, I believe that the 2021 target share feels like a more realistic expectation going forward. Okay. okay? The mm-hmm. 9.6 is something that I feel like you can rely on. Not anywhere from 9.3 and above. I feel like that's the kind of target share we're going to see for, for Stefan Diggs yeah. in his time here in Buffalo. And by the way, he was still top five in targets this year. He still finished top five. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll, I'll keep saying Crazy. it. And again, this isn't an anti-Cooper take, but all those Cooper Cup stands out there are maybe failing to realize that we could see a similar dip in Cooper Cup's target share this season. The same Mm -hmm. dip that we saw for Diggs last season, Mm -hmm. 191 targets is not realistic number to expect Cooper Cup to get again this year. However, let's stay on track here with Diggs. I think what he saw this year is a very realistic number and the price has dropped in the dynasty community. Number two, Josh Allen effect. I mean, one of the best quarterbacks in the game, the fourth most passing attempts in 2021, 38 passing attempts per game. That's money signs for my for my wide receiver in Dynasty. And lastly, a lot of wide receivers are now facing competition after, after moves this offseason. There is no one really competing for real target share domination here in Buffalo. Right. There are the perfect complementary pieces around Stefan Diggs. Okay, no one's threatening him. Gabe Davis is the perfect Y. Exactly. Jamison Crowder is a perfect slot. Dawson Knox is an is an end zone threat. Mm-hmm. So all of these pieces, I think, add to the offense and and don't necessarily take away from Diggs' efficiency. Exactly. So for me, amongst the let's let's say it this way, amongst the tier one veteran wide receivers in Dynasty, I think he's one of the most attractive buys right now. He is much much cheaper if you're a win now team than what it would take to go buy Cooper Cup right now. Yeah. Right. He's much cheaper than what it would take to go by Debo or Devontae Adams. So for me, I still like the age in Dynasty. I like the target share. He finished wide receiver seven, but we're all low on him. He was top five in targets. No one's really competing. It's a pass-happy offense. Yeah. So for me, I feel like he's a really, really great buy low. 
I'll talk about what price I think it is, what what price I think is fair to pay for him. But where mm-hmm. do you sit on this? Are you a buy or sell on on Diggs? Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, I am selling Stefan Diggs, but for the right price. You know, I you, it has to be the right price. If not, I'm really happy to hold. Um, for Stefan Diggs, because everything that you said, you know, you hit the nail on the head and everything you said, I was, I was going to say, you know, 20, 2020 finished wide receiver three, led the leads in targets. And the same thing in 2020, well, not the same thing, but finished wide receiver seven, a little bit of, yeah. he got the same amount of targets, essentially 164 targets, 166 from 2020 to 164 is basically the same. Well, you have to keep in mind that he, we, we played another game. 100%. So he, per game, he was almost down one target. Right. Game, so yeah. and that's okay. I don't think that's a massive, massive dip. You know, I think it was pretty efficient in my opinion, but it's so hard because Josh Allen is the quarterback. Mm. This is the hardest part. And the one thing I really wanted to bring up was there was nobody, there was no competition. It felt like unless they bring in a yeah. true wide receiver to, because I don't think Gabriel da- Gabriel Davis is a good complimentary wide receiver too, but not somebody that's going to be taking away, you know, so, a takes. huge amount yeah. of targets. And Dawson Knox, we saw what he can do. I think he's more of like a touchdown dependent tight end, you know, a guy that's doing that. So it's just really hard for me, even now, now thinking about it, it's really hard for me to sell. But the biggest thing and the biggest factor for me, as always in a dynasty perspective, I think, and I, this is the way I look at things, especially if I'm building for the future in, in dynasty, is that I want longevity on my team, okay? So what what do you look at? I looked at the contract, Stephon Diggs' contract. He's in the second to last year of his contract. He'll be yeah. 30 when his contract is up. Do you see any team signing him to an extension or any team signing him for a three, four year or a two yeah. year? Maybe the bill is extended, extended for another two years. That can be good. You know, we just don't know when that, if or when that's going to happen. And what's crazy, I know completely different positions, I mean, we've seen these old veteran defensive guys getting five, six year deals. Maybe that can that can be a trend for these. Well, to wide be fair, receivers. Devontae Adams just got five year deal as a thirty year old. I mean, he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. That's I know, but are we saying Diggs isn't isn't top ten? Oh, exactly, and that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, I won't be surprised if we start seeing that trend moving forward for these right. older wide guys. receivers are like just so valuable in today's game. Mm-hmm. We saw that in the free agency market. Exactly. So. I'm, I'm once again, I'm looking for longevity and consistency in in the on the team. So if Stefan Diggs could get a two year extension, maybe I'm willing to to continue. But that's why I'm willing to sell, because I think after 2023, if this team doesn't make it to the playoffs or just missed out on, on a Super Bowl game or they lost early in the playoffs, then maybe they're maybe they move on from Stefan Diggs in 2023. Maybe they're looking for a new wide receiver because the wide receiver class in 2023 is not bad. Okay, I mean, yeah. for, so far from what we know, all the talks, maybe one of those guys come in and steps in for for step in for Stefan Diggs. So I'm willing to sell for the right price, but hold, don't just sell it for anything. Just be like, hey, I'm I'm letting it go. You have to get the right price for Stefan Diggs. All right, so again, you, well, let's talk about what's a fair price to pay. And I'm mm-hmm. I'm speaking from the perspective of I have a win now team, and I want to buy. Stefan Diggs, um, mm-hmm. according to crowdsourcing, a mid first in 2022 should get the job done. Okay, yep. so I'd be more than happy to send the 105 to the 108 and, and and beyond for Stefan Diggs if I'm a win now team because there's no security that I even hit on one of those wide receivers, even though we like this class. However, I want to bring up another thought process here. I just wonder what I could get if I was to move Cooper Cup for Stefan Diggs. Like I wonder what sort of pick compensation I could get on my end. If I could get a 23 first and digs for Cooper Cup, would I, I I personally would do that. I know a lot of people are like completely in love with Cooper Cup right now for very good reasons, but I, I think we're going to see similar numbers for Cup and, uh, uh, and Stefan Diggs this year. Right. I really do. I know that sounds crazy, but I, I do see regression coming for him. So I'm trying to think of players that are maybe overvalued right now that I could get pick compensation back in, and it still helps me in my win now window. So... Cooper Cup, Debo Samuel, like I said, Devontae Adams. These are all players that I would potentially look and see, hey, could I get a first if I sent these players um, and got back digs and a first? You know, could I make that deal happen? And okay. that's something that I would explore for sure. But what about you? What's uh, your selling? So what's your perspective? Yeah, if I'm selling, I'm looking for, you know, a first 2023 or a top five top six pick in, in 2022 and, or once again i like doing packages and these wide receivers i'm willing to, to talk on depending on how you can get him once again t higgins 
yeah. uh, CD Lamb, Chris Godwin, DK, um, those guys that I, I'm looking to to invest in now because they're they're younger, they're still in their first contract, early in their first contract, or they sign a second year contract extension like a Chris Godwin. So I'm looking for those guys if I'm going to be moving forward from Stefan Diggs. Yeah, and I'll just say as well, just to endorse that, if you can get that deal straight up done for any of those guys that you mentioned, mm-hmm. I'm also on team sell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. If if you can swap CD straight up, T Higgins or the other players that you mentioned, yeah, I'm also on board selling. So I guess mm-hmm. you know price is always king there. Yeah. Um, where would you draft him in a startup then? He's going. I feel like he's uh, the last time I've seen him, he's going like mid to late fourth. I think that's actually comfortable. I saw that. Yeah. He's going. He's going like either right before the Elijah Moores, at least in our drafts, Elijah Moores, the Codwins, or right after um, those yep. guys. So I think he, at the end of that that um, round, the start of the end, I think I'm comfortable in the fourth round. Okay, so yeah, like you said, I mean, in, in startups, I looked at the last four or five that we've done with our community, and he's going anywhere from wide receiver 15 to 25, which mm-hmm. is late fourth to mid fifth. And, you know, I feel like fifth round is feels really comfortable. Feels comfortable if i'm a win now team and let's say i'm at the 101 and i can spend the 501 on digs right it feels like a really comfy position so that's what i would be looking for but let us know in the comments below are you buying stefan digs are you selling drop a comment yo what's good what thanks up? for watching we got a lot more videos a lot more if you want more videos watch now, it you can also subscribe right now if you want to you need to and lastly don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm-hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasy land fam